What's up, guys, and welcome to the channel. And today, guys, on the Fox Body Mustang, I am going to be installing me a new fuel pump. Now, the fuel pump that's on here is a stock one. So, I'm going to be upgrading to this automotive one that is capable of putting out 340 liters per hour, and you could run E85 with it. And I've been hearing pretty good reviews on this. It works pretty good. And plus, it's pretty cheap. And it costs a little over $100. That's about it. And the reason why I am upgrading the fuel pump to this is that I plan on in the future to possibly turbo this motor. And I want to make sure I have a fuel pump that's able to keep up with it for whenever I do get the turbo in it because it's basically going to be my first step let me pin this on probably later on probably upgrade my fuel injectors put a new fuel rail fuel regulator and possibly put a mass air conversion kit on here that's my plans this is basically the first step in that. Hopefully everything works out and I'm able to do all this stuff. So I really want to turbo this. Hopefully it all works out. So guys, let's get started putting this fuel pump in. Alright guys, so I got the car jacked up on jack stands. Got me a jack to put underneath my tank. Right there. So then whenever I take these um, brackets that are holding the tank up, the tank won't fall on me. So I got uh, the jack under there to hold it up. And also, I'm not going to be changing out the fuel filter. And I uh, shouldn't have to change out the fuel neck garment. Which this the fuel neck garment's under here. I'll show you. Right there. Which mine's is new. Cause I changed this out before. Been like probably a few months ago. I replaced it with a stock one. I just now I decide I want to go upgrade it to a more high performance one. So yeah, that's the field neck garment. A lot of times uh, those are dry rotted on there. So if you haven't changed yours out, it's been like the first time in like years that it's been changed out. You probably won't get one of those and a fuel filter but mine's is good so I won't be changing any of that out so my first step that I'm gonna be doing is up here let me get up here is up here I'm going to be taking these three bolts out here which are 10 millimeters so I'm gonna take those out and be right back alright guys so I got the three bolts out of there and uh, also when you're doing this you wanna make sure you don't have too much gas in the tank and make it a lot easier for dropping the tank down alright so my next step I'm gonna be doing is um, I'll kinda of show you under here I got the um, jack uh, underneath the uh, gas tank. I got it jacked up there to hold it up. So my first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that eight millimeter bolt right there. That's uh, let me show you. It's holding this bracket right here. This bracket there. It's on the fuel neck there. I'm going to remove that, and then. Now I'm gonna go under here, go to the back of the tank here, and show y'all these two bolts I got right here. All right, so I gotta remove. There's one right there. It's a 13 millimeter, and the other one is right there, also 13 millimeter. And basically, they're holding these straps. 
they're the ones holding these uh, straps right here. These straps that's holding the tank up. So once I start removing those 13 millimeter bolts, the tank should start dropping. And I'm slowly gonna let it down with the jack. So all right, let's get to doing this. All right, guys. So I got the strap down and got that eight millimeter bolt removed. And also, forgot to say anything about it, but there's a plug up here, right there. That plug there, I gotta unplug that. And once I unplug that, I am going to uh, slowly drop the tank with my jack here. So, I'm gonna do that, drop the tank down, and uh, start getting the fuel pump out. All right guys, so I end up having to pull the whole tank out because my fuel pump is located up here. I thought it was in the middle, but I guess I forgot that it was located up here at the top. So I ended up pulling the whole tank out. And basically what I did was just unhook these hoses here which is, uh, one was right here. It, I just pulled that off, and that came off. Now, this one over here, I had to use one of these uh, gas line disconnectors, which uh, this one, the size is 5 16th, which that one worked on there. And then I just slide it off the field neck. Did it easy, because I didn't want to damage my field neck garment, because of the new one, I didn't want to have to buy another one. So now, what I'm going to do is um, blow off some of this dirt here around my fuel pump so that uh, I don't get any dirt in the tank and stuff. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to start getting the, t the uh, fuel pump out. Alright guys, so I've done blowed off all the um, dirt and stuff off of there. What I'm going to do now is... um. Unplug this, get me a screwdriver and a hammer, and hit onto this um, seal here. Make it twist around this way, go like that, and uh, should be able to get the fuel pump out then. So I'm gonna do that. Be right back. All right, guys. So I done got the fuel pump out, and uh, unplugged it. And broke that seal off and it came right out so um, right here is the fuel pump that was in it now it had a sock on it I just took it off so now I'm gonna get ready start putting this um, fuel pump in here the new one which basically let me see what I'm gonna have to do Let's get this one removed, and um, I'm gonna have to wire wire this one in, cut that plug off, and wire it in, which is basically gonna be color code red to red, black to black. And uh, yeah, guys, I know I need gloves. I didn't have any, but I should be all right. So I'm gonna. Do that, get it ready to put the new fuel pump on. Be right back. Alright guys, so I done got the pump off of there. Now how I removed it was uh took this bracket off here, which was held in by um, four uh, screws up here, one right there, two right there, and two over here. And um, remove this seal that was at the bottom of this pump and just slide this off I'm gonna keep this and transfer it over to my other pump and also this yeah so after I took that bracket off all of that just basically unplugged it right here unplug those and uh, 
took it off the hose there. So now, on my new one, I'm gonna have to cut cut these off here and um, cut this plug off of here and uh, wire up the red wire with the red and the uh, black wire with the black and uh, put everything back together should be good so I'll do that and kind of show you what I did try to explain a little bit okay alright guys so I pretty much got it together got the uh Pump wired up, red to red, black to black, got the sock on here, yeah I wired it up with some buck connectors, it's probably better to solder it, but this should work okay, it should be alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this uh Back in the tank, reinstall everything back in there, and see what happens. All right, guys. So I done got everything together. The tank up in there, fuel pump in there, all of that. Everything hooked up, and uh, also get under here. I also painted that cover that goes over the gas tank. Trying to make it look a little better under there. So, yeah, this is gonna do it for this video on up putting the fuel pump on here, upgrading it. So yeah, y'all stay tuned, like and subscribe. Gonna be having more parts to put on here, fuel part, fuel parts. So basically, this is like the start. Of upgrading my fuel system on here so yeah guys y'all stay tuned see y'all later